हेलो एवरी वन आई एम अमूल्या एच जी असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिकल एंड इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स साई विद्या इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी टुडे वी आर गिविंग अ डेमोस्ट्रेशन ऑन रिले एंड हाई वोल्टेज लैबोरेटरी इन दैट वी आर गोइंग टू कंडक्ट द फर्स्ट एक्सपेरिमेंट दैट इज इलेक्ट्रो मैकेनिकल ओवर करंट रिले इलेक्ट्रो मैकेनिकल ओवर करंट रिले इज बेसिकली वन टाइप ऑफ प्रोटेक्टिव डिवाइस दट डिटेक्स द अबनॉर्मल कंडीशन विच अकर्स इन इलेक्ट्रिकल सर्क्यूट्स बाय कॉन्स्टेंटली मेशरिंग the electrical quantities which are different under normal condition as well as the fault condition the basic electrical quantities which may change during the fault conditions are voltage current phase angle and the frequency once the detection of this fault is done by the relay then it gives an alarm indication to the circuit breaker to break its contact from the fault circuit this is how the relay operates in a power system so this is about the relay so now we are going to see the aim of the experiment in this experiment we are going to study about the time versus the current characteristics of an electro mechanical or current relay that means how does the operating current varies with respect to the load current this is what your experiment is so now seeing the circuit connection so this is the circuit diagram for conducting this electro mechanical or current relay so now we are going to see the practical experimental setup for conducting this experiment this is the experimental arrangement so in this arrangement you can see so this electromechanical relay basically consisting of the fixed and moving contact so this aluminum spindle what you can see here this is the moving contact this moving contact is being placed between the two electromagnets so, so this is the two electromagnets this moving contact it has been attached with the spindle so this spindle it can able to rotate from 0 to 360 degree in between these two electromagnets this spindle it has been attached with the calibration scale so this calibration scale it starts from 0 to till 1 so basically this calibration scale we call it as a tms tms stands for time multiplier setting or we also call it as a time setting multipliers so this has been this tms it has been provided the calibration scale here so this has been mainly indicates the operating time of the relay observe here so when the timer value is minimum so operating time taken for the relay also will be minimum so observe here so this is the spindle so once the timer value is minimum means this spindle it will be rotating and it will comes in contact with the relay so that indicates the tripping of the relay it is so if you are given the timer value minimum means the relay operating time also will be minimum suppose if we increase the timer value to maximum or near to 1 means the spindle it has been moving away from the relay contact so that indicates the time taken for tripping of the relay also will be more so this is about the time multiplier setting or time setting multiplier also and coming to one more important parameter in the electromechanical relay that is a plug setting multiplier we also call it as a psm so this is what the plug setting multiplier is or p plug multiplier setting also we can call it will be starting from 0.5 to 2 amperes plug setting multiplier is relay operating current also we can call that means it is just like a permissible limit for the relay up to that the relay it won't be operating so this is just like a tappings or we can also call it as a plug also it can be removed and connected from 0.5 to 2 amperes suppose if i insert this plug to 1 ampere means up to 1 ampere it relay it won't be operating that is a 1 ampere is like a permissible limit for the relay up to that current your relay it won't be operating so whatever the load current we are varying here up to 1 means the relay it won't be operating so this is the very very act or auto transformer for variation of the load current we can set it from 0 to 10 ampere and this is the led display for displaying the operating time of the or tripping time of the relay so here it has been provided with one toggle switch so it can be keep it in set mode off mode as well as in the start mode set mode is basically for setting the load current off load is off mode is nothing but for bringing back the relay into off condition or the moving contact into a uh, initial value and start is nothing but starting of the relay operation it is so here you can see one reset button or push up button so this is basically for resetting the timer here and these are the 
indication for relay tripping and also the starting of the relay test. So this is about the practical kit for conducting this experiment. Now we are going to see about the this is the circuit for conducting this experiment. Observe here S1. S1 is nothing but the connection of the step down transformer is connected to the relay coil C. So S2 is connected to one more end of the relay coil. Similarly, the auxiliary connection that is AC1 is connected to timer T1. Another auxiliary contact AC2 is connected to another end of the timer. So same thing we are going to do the connection here. So S1 is connected to relay coil one end. S2 is connected to another end of the relay coil. T1 is connected to that is a timer is connected to auxiliary contact one end and auxiliary contact another end is connected to the timer T. So this is about the connection. Before switching on the supply the main important thing you need to remember this toggle switch either it should be in off mode or it should be in the set mode. Don't directly keep it in start mode. So this is the basic thing we have to remember. Now the supply is on, first keep it in set mode, so observe here, this is the observation, so here we are doing the three cases, the first case here we are keeping uh, the plug setting value for the case 1 and case 2, we are keeping the plug setting value as a constant and we are uh, varying the timer values, for the case 1 we are keeping PS TMS as 1 and for case 2 we are keeping the TMS as 0.5. So what we are varying in these two cases means we are keeping the plug setting value constant and we are varying the timer value so that we are going to check the relation between the load current versus the operating time. So how does the reducing the timer value will going to affect the operating time but actually the timer value and the operating time these two are directly proportional. So as is shown here so by reducing the timer value the time taken or the relay operating also will be reduces more the timer value more will be the time reduction so same thing we have to prove here so as I switch on the supply so first we have to keep it in set mode so since in the case 1 the TMS value is 1 and PSM also will be equal to 1 so here we set the plug setting to 1 that is by removing the tappings here so set this to 1 here and similarly the timer also should be set it to one here so after setting the tm and the tms and plug setting so now we can uh, set the load current here since the tms is sorry plug setting is a one means we need to set the load current above one only suppose if you set the load current below one means the relay it won't sense that current at all so now observe here i am uh, setting the current value that is the load current value above one above 1 whatever value we can consider but it should be more than PSM that is most important thing. So first we will keep the load current as 1 then bring this to off mode. Once you bring this from set to off condition the aluminum disc will come back to its initial condition. We need to wait until the aluminum disc is in initial condition or it is in constant position. So then we have to bring the toggle switch into start mode. So once we bring the toggle switch to smart start mode, so you can observe here the aluminum disc is started to rotate and the spindle also it has been coming near to the relay contact. So until that we need to wait. So now the spindle has come to the relay contact. So now the relay will going to trip. So once the relay is a trip, so what you have to note down? So here you have to note down the load current is 1.2 and the time taken for the relay to trip is 35.48 seconds. So this is what your experiment is. So once the relay is a trip means the spindle automatically comes into its initial condition. So now for the first reading as a load current of 1.2 the time taken for relay to trip is 35.48 seconds. So this is the operating uh, time versus the load current is. Similarly next what we have to do we need to bring the switch from start to off mode then again we have to bring it to set mode. So next what we have to do increasing of 0 0.2 to 0 0.2 we need to take some 5 readings. So this is what case 1 is. After completing the 5 readings in case 1, next we have to proceed for case 2. So in case 2, we need to keep the plug setting as constant 1 but we need to reduce the timer value as 0.5. So what we can do, just reduce this timer value 
to point five. So TMS now it has been set to 0.5 and the plug setting has been set to 1. So the procedure will be same. So now keep this in set mode. So we already set the current as a 1.2. Now bring this to off mode. Reset the timer. Previously it has been for 35 seconds. Reset this then bring this to start mode. So the same procedure we have to do. But one thing you have to observe. Previously remember for 1.2 for the timer as a 1. It has taken 35 seconds for tripping of the relay. But now we are reduced the timer to 0.5. So that means the operating time also should be reduced it to half of it. So now observe. Now the load current is for the case 2 is 1.2. And the relay operating is almost 15.91 that is 16 seconds so the operating time here for the same load current and the operating time here for the same load current it should need to reduce it to half of it so this is the difference of case 1 and case 2 so from case 1 and case 2 after taking the values we need to plot these two graph so that is on the x axis we need to take a load current and on the y axis we need to take operating seconds or operating time in seconds so how does the load current and operating time will be varying means so minimum the current value more will be the operating time as the current value is keep increases the time taken for the relay also will be keeps reducing so this is just like a idmt characteristics or inverse definite mean time characteristics also we can call so this is the graph for case 1 and this is the graph for case 2. So now we are going to see about the one more case that is case 3. So observe here for the case 3. So here what we are doing means we are for the entire table look at here for the entire table we are keeping the timer value as a constant. Here TMS is 1, here TMS is 1, here also it is 1. But we are keep changing the plug setting value from 0.5 to 0.75, 0.75 to 1. So after that for the TMS as 1, we are going to plot one more graph that is the load current versus average operating time. Because wherever the operating time is there, so that average value we are going to calculate here. Then the load current versus this average value we are going to plot. So this is what the case 3 is. So only thing we need to fix the timer value as a constant. For each of the columns, we need to vary the plug setting value. So this is about your case 3. So from this curve, you can clearly observe that for all the three cases, the load current and the operating time will be inversely proportional. Minimum the current, more will be the operating time. More the current, minimum will be the operating time of the relay. So this is about the electromechanical overcurrent relay. Thank you.